Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. So today is what I got for Christmas kind of haul. I do this every year. I do need to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not bragging. I just wanted to show you guys what I got because they're the favourite kind of videos that I like to watch. So I'm going to show you what my mum got me first. I only expected one gift off my mum and that was meant to be the Natasha Denona Trail Crown palette and again for my birthday and Christmas didn't expect anything else I mean she's just amazing not for the presents she gives me or anything but um, just for being who she is and like I said I only expected that one gift but all this guys a full bag we've got a full bag here to talk about right so every year she buys me slippers and I saw these and I'm gonna get them for myself um, and maybe in May and maybe in the biggest maybe not the biggest but one of the biggest Disney Mickey and Minnie Mouse fans out there I just needed to have them. I'm going to take this cardboard out if I can. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, wait. It's, it's stuck on there, but they are just so, so adorable. Hopefully, you can see what they look like a little bit. They've both got their hands um, covering their eyes. The Mickey Mouse has just got his his white hands there and there she's got obviously the bow um, super adorable so they're from Primark and they were I think £5 which isn't too bad so she got me them this year and then if you watched my one last year you'll know that she got me them ones last year and they're in immaculate condition guys I didn't need new slippers but I saw them and I just wanted them like I said I was going to buy them for myself um lots of chocolate lots of goodies i think she wants me to put the weight back on that i've lost for all you guys that aren't following me on instagram i'm really really impressed with myself i've lost two stone now in fact i weighed myself the other day again and i'd lost an extra two pounds so i've I've lost over two stone. None of my clothes fit me. I definitely need to buy some new jeans and um, yeah, um, but that's neither here nor there. So chocolate, we've got Dairy Milk Winter Wonderland. Now she likes this and I like it as well, which is surprising because I don't like white chocolate normally, but there's only a little bit on the tree there. So we've got that. Then I've got these Asda Mint Thins. Now I don't know if I like these ones, but I like the ones from Morrison's, the Morrison's own brand. Um, yeah, they're really, really good. I prefer these ones to After Eights. Um, so that's that. Then these biscuits from Marks and Spencers. If you live in the UK or you live anywhere that you've got access to Marks and Spencers and you've not tried them, guys, Honestly, you're going to love them. So they're the Marks and Spencer's Dutch Shortcake. Um, and it just says crumbly shortcake dipped in Belgian milk chocolate. They are so good. And I mean so good. Um, there's some Ferrero Rocher. There's, there's some Ferrero Rocher. She buys me Ferrero Rocher every year. But that must be further down. So let's just show you what else she got me. She got some really nice bubble bath. I mean, this. I'm absolutely loving how bougie it's looking. So it says Midnight Bloom, relaxing bubble bath, white fig and violet. It's 500 ml, and I don't actually want to use it. I just want to keep the bottle for deco. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, isn't that pretty? Yeah, so that's that. Oh, my hair's stuck. Ow! So that's that. Um, then she got me these pyjamas here. I really, really like these pyjamas. And she actually got them for herself. And I said, oh, they're really, really pretty. And she ended up 
putting them in my bag and like I said she's so selfless yeah she's so selfless she's she really is amazing she bought my pajamas there was no need for her to give me those as well a while ago we were in TK Maxx and I saw these and I was going to pick them up for myself and she actually bought these for me and she gave them to me and then I found some gloves around the house and I said just keep them for Christmas mum um, absolutely love these gloves let me show you what one of them looks like on I know they're only gloves but they are beautiful I mean how beautiful is that you've got your leopard print here and then red and I absolutely love red very fancy I think they're about $6.99 from TK Maxx she also bought me some Yankee candles my mum is obsessed with Yankee candles and she bought me this beautiful candle um, so you're getting three, three of the smaller candles here and then this Voitive I think they're called um, so it's supposed to be like countdown to Christmas, um, like a little advent, like a little advent calendar, and she got it cheaper. Um, so it was originally nine ninety nine, and she got it for six ninety nine. So yeah, I got that. And then the, we all laugh with her we don't laugh at her we laugh with her every single year because every single year what she normally does for me is obviously buys me for a rocher or um lint chocolate do you know the red packet and um, the ch lint chocolate balls but she always gets us all of these pringles and it's always these ones these sour cream and onion because we all like them um so yeah we always like it's traditional for you to buy us those isn't it mum and she's like mm-hmm um but yeah there is that um she bought me these brushes and she was really nervous about giving them to me she's like I was really quite nervous about giving them to you because you buy designer I said mum they're not designer they're real techniques um they are good brushes but I mean these look pretty good um so we've got the makeup brush set made with bamboo and they remind me of eco tools now i put this on my instagram feed so if you've not already seen it that's what they look like so you're getting your powder brush your foundation brush i'll probably use that for concealer um, and then three eyeshadow brushes so i'm happy to add them to the collection and then you know she was like are they okay and i said mum you've done really really well they look really really good brushes i've got a couple pairs of socks so we've got some of the heads on the mini mouse heads or mickey mouse heads um so that's those and i wear those bed fluffy socks for work and then we've got these grey ones I've got I've actually got these in pink as well I bought them in pink and she got them for me in grey um so yeah they're quite good I mean what's to say about socks just realizing the trail chrome palette isn't in this bag I also got these pyjamas off her. I absolutely love these pyjamas. I was going to, again, buy them for myself. So they say Looney Tunes on them. They are actually a little bit wet because when I came home last night it was <sighs> torrential downpour practically. Um, so they do need to dry out a little bit. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you've got Bugs Bunny there. And I think these were made correct me if i'm wrong if you live in the um uk i think they were made for space jam because bugs bunny's in space jam isn't it and they brought that new film out so that's that i'm gonna throw it off here it's tipped out hold on a second
Right, and I've got about one layer left of these Fro Rocher. But never fear, my sister also bought me Fro Rocher as well. Um, so that's everything apart from the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette, which was the main present. Let me go and find that. Right, so here we are. I am. I've got it in my hands. This is definitely going to be one of those prized possessions, along with the Natasha Denona Gold Palette that my beautiful friend Beauty Dreams by Naomi bought for me. Um, because these are the two main palettes that I really wanted. So, comes in a beautiful packaging like that, the outer packaging. And then, this is what it looks like. I mean, how beautiful is it? So, you only get in like three shimmers, which are the multi chromes, trio chromes, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to talk you through the look that I did yesterday and I'm going to recreate it in another video um, just because I said to my friend Karen that I would recreate a look I mean I don't think it's identical to the one that's on the Natasha Denona website um, but I'll tell you what the shades I use so let's have a look I'm sure I used garment in the crease that one there and then i went in with iron this one here um so I, w I swept that through the crease lightly and then i just thought why don't i just put it like on on the lid like with a fluff with a more dense brush and then we went in with vert and then the star of the shot is definitely Scarab. I'm going to be doing swatches with this as well as using it soon. Um, obviously, with these three shades here, we're definitely going to do a three days free looks. Um, I can't wait to use it. Um, it really is a stunning palette. It was very, very expensive in the UK. Um, it retails for £111, that's why I didn't really expect anything else and she's actually bought me another present for my birthday which is so cute, I can't wait to show you that when it is my birthday of course that's in February so it's only like six weeks away um, but yeah I absolutely adore this and I said to my mum last night, I said thank you so much for buying it for me I absolutely adore it um, it means everything to me that you bought it um so yeah i mean she spent an absolute fortune and she really didn't need to but yeah this is my main gift off her um so i'm gonna put all this away now in the bag again and well what we're gonna do next so we'll talk about the gifts i got from my sister and um, then we'll go on to the gifts Right, so as I was saying, we're going to talk about the gifts that I got from my sister and her family. Then we're going to talk about the Christmas gifts that friends sent. I got three beautiful gifts from my friends. And then we're going to talk about what I bought for myself, which I really didn't need to do, guys, because I got so much in the first place. Um, but I've got quite a big box of things that I've collated over the last couple of months. And um, I want to show you them as well. So... Right, so we've got this bag here, this Snow White bag, and that has all my gifts from my sister and her family and my friends. So we'll start off with what my sister got for me. Surprise, surprise. Are you surprised, actually? It's another eyeshadow palette. So it's the Sample Beauty Equaliser Volume 2. Now, so I got this for my friend Lisa from Banning, Panning and Beyond. Um, I'm trying to get it out. I've got these Impressions False Nails on, which I'll show you in a second. Which, which again, if you would have seen my Instagram feed, you'll already know what they look like. But if you're not following me on Instagram, I do post there regularly. And more so now, because it takes two seconds whereas videos take a lot longer to upload um but yeah i'll show you them at the end so the palette looks like this absolutely beautiful now i didn't think this was me at all um 
it's very Lisa, I would say. Um, they're definitely her shades. Um, but for me personally, I didn't think it were me. Um, love these. I love all of these shimmers going down here. Maybe not the black so much. Um, so yeah. But when it gets down to these like really really darker colours, um, the purples, I'm not 100% sure. That's that's my comfort zone. And then obviously you've got this section as well. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with this palette. I've got to say it's not me. I will still say that. But then I was looking at Lisa's when it arrived because it came here. Now if it would have gone to Australia through um, Beauty Bay because these palettes are on Beauty Bay if it would have gone there I probably would never ever ordered this and asked my sister to buy it for me I wanted to check that it had arrived in one piece before it got sent to Lisa and I just fell in love with how it looked it looked absolutely beautiful so yeah um asked my sister to buy me this and um, so that's another palette we've got she also got me She also got me these. Um, anyone would think that I'm addicted to chocolate. I don't actually like chocolate that much. I mean, I love Ferrero Rocher. I've got to admit, I do love these and I love this container. I think I'm going to repurpose it. I think. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try and store like lipsticks or something inside it or just put something nice inside it like the plastic containers the normal plastic containers i normally use them um so yeah i'm gonna try and repurpose that because that looks really nice and i think it'll look nice on the desk somewhere um and then so those gifts were off my little niece and my sister and then my older niece bought me some celebrations more chocolate it's gonna take me so long to get through all this and then now what we're gonna do is talk about everything that my friends have sent me in no particular order let's talk about this one because i want to store this somewhere i just don't have a clue where i'm gonna store it i want to store it so it's kind of in my background because it is so beautiful um, but it's the Glam Light Cake Palette and I know a lot of you guys don't keep the packaging on these but how can I not? You know, it's a little oven, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. But for most of Christmas Day, all I was doing was swatching palettes. Um, but this is how it comes. I'm sure you all know that's how it comes in the packaging and then... That's the outer carton there. And isn't it gorgeous? And then... This is... This is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Love these yellows here. I love all the shimmers. Some of the brighter shades... Um, I don't know, it's a bit worrying. I definitely want to give this a good go and do a lot of looks with it. Um, so this came from, so this was from Karen. Um, so thank you again, Karen. I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I just need to find a spot for it. And when I have, I'll show you where that is. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, so that's that. Then Naomi um, sent me this with the Natasha Denona gold palette. So this is from Glam Shop. Do not ask me how to pronounce it. W Z Loan. I don't know, guys. I don't even know what that means. But it's really, really pretty packaging. And again, I was swatching this on Christmas Day. And it's so, so stunning. I can understand why people go to Glam Shop. I mean, look at that, guys. It really is beautiful. And it's definitely, it's definitely me in a palette. Um, I was speaking to Naomi recently and she said, 
Had I known you like yellow better, um, I would have sent you the yellow one. It really doesn't matter. I, I like green. Green's my second favourite colour to use all over the eyes. Um, so it looks really dark, doesn't it? Oh, that's much better. So there's a portion of the video where it's going to be really, really bad lighting, which I apologise for. So yeah, I was saying to Naomi, it really doesn't matter because green is my second favourite colour to use all over the eyes. Um, so yeah, I really, really do like that. I'm going to look into maybe getting the yellow one myself if it's not too expensive to ship. Because Glam Shop are located in Poland. So I just need to look into that. Um, right. And then Lisa sent me this she sent it to me as a companion palette to go with the natasha denona gold and then this is the natasha denona mini gold it is so good guys so good um there's a shade in here that reminds me of lime chrome but it is more pigmented now i always mention lime chrome because it is one of my favorite shades in the natasha denona gold palette if not my favorite shade and it's this one here um so let me show you what it looks like it is definitely more pigmented than lime chrome just gonna do two swatches of it so i think this will be either my third or fourth mini i think maybe four yeah i think it is my fourth fourth one so that looks like that um so again thank you naomi and lisa i really do appreciate um you buying these gifts for me they really mean a lot um so it's just now because i bought stuff for myself as well i just don't know where i'm gonna put it because I'm at full capacity with storage so I'm definitely going to have to do a declutter really really soon um, and when I say soon and I mean in the next couple of weeks especially on eyeshadow palettes just so I can fit everything in that I bought recently and that I've had gifted to me um, I'm just trying to think is there anything else right so I think what we're going to do is just go on I mean I have bought stuff for myself I did do it like a little haul as well let me show you what I got because there's only a few things um, so I went into Starbucks and I wanted to get one of like the Starbucks tumblers with obviously the straws I have a lot of um, iced coffees and I thought this would do it for that um, and it, it mentioned that this keeps your drink really really cold um because glass normally does that it just says starbucks recycled glass cold to go cup um so yeah there is that that costs 10 pound which isn't too bad for starbucks is it not um well 9.95 and then you get in that starbucks green straw that they do so that's that um, and then I got some like hair products so let me show you what I got so from Home Bargains um, because I went into Home Bargains and got some bath bombs for my two nieces so we've got the Garnier Ultimate Blends Smoothing Shampoo with coconut oil and cocoa butter it smooths and nourishes um, it's for dry frizzy hair which my hair is um, and it says naturally derived extracts now cocoa butter is known for being really really good for curly hair and obviously dry frizzy hair as well so we've got the shampoo and we've also got the conditioner and I've used it already on the hair and it looks and I've used it on the hair already and I was really really happy with it um, it just smells really nice as well oh it's so nice so we got those and then I saw this there's not enough room on the bed for everything then I saw this and I thought I'd pick this up as well so Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Mask The Sleep Restorer I've got one of these already but it's not this one again it's coconut oil and cocoa butter smooths and nourishes dry frizz the hair and I think you use this up to three times a week if I'm not mistaken Oh, that's 
so nice and that's what that looks like so that was that oh there was one more product i don't want i don't know i don't know where my heat protectant went so we've got the Swatchcraft Keratin Heat Spray. So keratin's good, isn't it, for the hair when you're actually putting heat on it. Um, it's, it protects up to 230 degrees. Two times more keratin, humidity resistance, frizz control, and you're getting three days style control. And it's it says number four on it, so it's got it holds it pretty good. So I did want to try that and Schwarzkopf is one of the best brands out there to try my mum's always saying oh it's German and I'm like every time I get a new product I always try and go and see what Schwarzkopf have um, so that's that I did actually get one more thing yeah it's here so on the same day I got this this is also on my Instagram feed as well. On the same day I got this, I also got a pen. I'm going to show you what it looks like lit up. So that's what it looks like lit up. You can't really see it. Let's turn the external light down a little bit for a minute. So that's what it looks like lit up. Isn't it beautiful? Um, so on the same day I got that, I mean I got that at a really good, I got that at a really good price to be honest, should have been £9 and I got it for £4, I also bought my sister one for Christmas and also I got this beautiful beautiful pen for when I'm obviously jotting things down, it was only £1.50 and I love the little bow here, I just love Minnie Mouse so darn much um but yeah that is everything there so we've got the haul we've got uh, the products that friends and family bought for me I just need to show you what I bought myself now so let's pop all this away otherwise I'm not gonna have the room And every year when I buy myself makeup or whatever I buy it always goes in this little Santa box um, so let's see what I got and I got some real goodies guys so some things I put in this box that I'd already bought a couple of months ago I put them in the box because I knew I wasn't going to get to them um, which were these Morphe palettes so we've got the Morphe 9P party pinks and I will try them but I just don't know if they're going to stay around the collection I'll probably end up giving them to my niece now this one looks really really nice that gold there especially looks really really pretty um, so that's that one it's just more if it's very hit and miss isn't it they weren't expensive so again they came from TK Maxx um, they were 6 99 each so we got that one and this one I wanted to try for a while so this one is the 9V Vintage Rose and I don't have that many Morphe palettes in my collection so that's that one. I was looking at the Disney and Friends palette and I was going to get it but I'm just not sure about it. The swatches look amazing on it. I feel like I need to watch a few videos on that palette. I don't actually need it at the moment just because I've got so much to try here. I think this, all this that I've been bought I think all this that I bought and have had her bought for me would last me the next six months. Right, um, 
and I was talking to my friend Naomi about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I think this one is in the shade Universe. Now, I've never had one of these palettes. I've had the other palette that comes with the free powders. I've had that one just because I bought that from Depop. Um, I've never had, like, just a single powder of theirs either um, just because it was always so expensive and I couldn't afford it like when I wasn't working um, now this at full price is £79 guys and I said sorry wrong way around this at full price guys is £79 and I said to Naomi I'm not paying it I think with me personally I have it in my mind what I will and won't pay um, because I was the exact same with the lethal cosmetics multi-chromes now i'm not saying it's not a good deal i'm just saying i know what i will and what i won't pay for certain products so anyway got this hourglass palette and for some reason i thought it was going to come in a plastic tin now they did one a few years ago like this marble effect and i was talking to naomi about that asking if it was plastic or like tin like this and she didn't know the one that i was talking about she said that she hadn't had that one and she does get quite a lot of these palettes. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm not saying it's not beautiful. I'm just saying it's tinned. Um, and I don't really like the fact that it's tinned. Because it dints. Um, so yeah, there is that. But it is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I used it yesterday. Like I said, I'll be re so I used the powder, I used these two blushes together, I used the bronzer and the highlight. So I used literally everything. Um, the, the blushes mixed together were a little bit deep, so maybe next time I'll just go in with this shade here. Um, like I said, I do like it. I got a great deal on this palette. Does it say? I know my receipt's over there. Not my receipt, my um, little slip. Let's see if it says here. Right, so maybe I didn't get that much of a good deal. No, I did. I got £20 off. So, it's normally 79 I paid 59 which is... I think that's enough to pay for those products. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you got that um, palette in your collection or if you got it in the sale. But I got mine from Space and K in the UK, so there is that one. Um, I also got this a while back, this Revolution Pro, um, and now I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I want to keep it in the collection already, and I've not used it. <coughs> See, this is what I mean, guys. I probably will use it and if I don't like it I'll pass it on um, so there is that I mean you are getting some nice shades but it all depends on how they look on the eyes so you get in so the iconics the brights then you get in some lip shades then over this section you get in some bronzers and some blushes it is well worth it it's a really nice travel palette um so yeah i'm i'm gonna try it it would be very rude not to wouldn't it i don't know why this battery is flashing again it shouldn't be let's hope we can make it to the end of the video right oh yeah and with my order with space nk they said that i could choose two samples and i chose some uh, laura geller translucent powder and i thought i was going to get like a container i thought well that's a really good deal i'll get a container of that not so much guys so there are these little samples here so you can only use them a couple of times that one's too dark so i don't have anyone that i can even give that to this one's a bit dark as well um Yeah, that one's a bit dark as well for my skin tone, but I might just get away with it. Um, and then this one is my shade. So, we'll try that out. I've used, the only powder that I've used by Laura Geller is the brightening one, and it has glitter particles in it, and I really, really didn't like it. So, 
we'll see if this one is any better it's supposed to be and if i do like it i might eventually pick it up one day and then i've got this verso daily glow with retinol um which just looks like that i've never tried that so um we'll try that as well and then it's my pat mcgrath order um so i did get quite a few things um i also got things that are in the drawer already um for instance from beauty bay i got the beauty bay um that green palette that they brought out i can't even remember the name of it and i got loads of other things that they're already in the drawer waiting to be used but these palettes um by pat mcgrath are the ones that i wanted for ages and i got them in the sale so oh yeah other things include the eyeshadows from pastel roses which aren't in here because i got them in the black friday sale i got these in the black friday sale as well and then the eyeshadows from tip mask cosmetics but there was kind of like black friday joint christmas um so anyway this palette here i've wanted to try for ages guys i'm gonna keep the packaging i know a lot of you guys don't but i think the packaging is the best thing about it i mean it's very bougie packaging just like that it is very bougie but i do like the cover um so this one is the pat mcgrath labs um venus in fleurs luke's quad voyeuristic vixen so nice this this one is definitely the nicest one of the two and the shadow here oh my god it does not pull any punches it really is a beautiful shade i'll obviously be doing some swatches on it really really soon and also a look um i did put this all over my lid the other day on when was it christmas eve um just to actually see what it looked like i'd been wanting to do that for a while and i put it all over the lid and it looked amazing so i can't wait to use it um and this next one i wasn't really that bothered about trying if i'm being completely honest but i got such a good deal in the black friday sale again it would be rude not to wouldn't it so that's the packaging there and this one i can't actually get into it gonna end up pulling my nail off oh right so this one is celestial odyssey loose quad so that looks like that and then that's what it looks like and then in this one this one is the shade that pulls the punches i think um let's turn it down again so that's the shade that pulls the punches down there um now the only other palette that i've got from pat mcgrath is a cheaper version one um i will put it up here at which one i do have now her other palettes cost 111 pound and they did have i think it was about 90 pounds in the sale and i just thought to myself why not try some of the more inexpensive quads first before you spend that amount of money because i would be gutted if i spent a lot of money on a palette and i was stuck with it um and to be honest i wanted this one for a while like i said earlier and um i just thought i would get this one as well so that's everything in the box these are my nails um so the from kiss and um you like you've got glitter ones and then marble um the only disappointment really was when it came to the thumbnails they had one in there like these are completely bending back now luckily you get 30 nails in a pack and i can just put more i can just put them on again there um but i don't know if you can see it, but they're completely bending back and they, they need to be redone so anyway the thumbs the thumbnails in the packet um you only get 
I got one the right size for my thumbnails um, if you can see here it's, it doesn't fit properly I mean you have to really look at it to notice it but me being the perfectionist that I am can notice it but I do feel like they're really whoops I do feel like they're really really nice nails um, and all the other nails fit really really nice um, so yeah I mean I've had them on two days now I'm going to change these over when I find the actual little box of nails um, they'll be around somewhere and then I'll tell you how long they last they need to come off anyway before I go back to work again otherwise they're just going to bend right back and probably destroy my nails underneath um, so this is my what I got for Christmas haul like I said earlier I'm not bragging about it I just wanted to show you what I got mainly all makeup um, but it wouldn't be me without makeup um, so this concludes the video guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it please like subscribe share and comment and I'll see you in my next one bye guys